This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And Super Bowl is around the corner, which means viewing parties and lots of snacks. Tess Hedrick is live with dietitian Heather Ware to show us how to have a healthier tailgate celebration while still enjoying all the food. Good morning, Tess. Good morning. We are a little less than a week away from Super Bowl Sunday. That means a lot of good food, a lot of good drinks, and that means also a lot of calories. So we have dietitian Heather Ware here today to kind of show us how to make your tailgate a little bit healthier. So how can we do that? Okay. Well, the key is not to cut out food. It's to make the foods that you have a little bit healthier okay. for everyone that's there. Salsas can be super easy. They're also super easy to make healthy. Oh. Okay. With tomatoes not in season, it makes it even easier. I actually started both of these recipes by just using these canned tomatoes. Um, no added salt, so you can save a little bit of sodium there. Okay. Chopped them up and then just threw together stuff that I already had in my kitchen to make a healthier option for, you know, a quick Super Bowl party. Right, and dips are, you know, are a big part of Super Bowl Sunday, so this is kind of perfect. Right, we've always got the cheeses, all of those different types of dips. These are just another option. Also a really great way to get in some vegetables, some low-calorie dips so that you're not going to feel it the next day when you try to put right. on your pants. Right, so how did you make this one? This one, um, just chopped up a can of tomatoes, added in some fresh cilantro, chopped up some onions. Um, I used up some frozen sweet corn that okay. I had in my freezer. Okay. And then a can of black beans. I rinsed them and threw them in there for a little bit of extra fiber, a few extra vitamins and minerals. Put it in my fridge overnight and it was ready to go. So really, you're not even like having, consuming any calories with this, right? Hardly at all. Just a little bit from the corn and the beans. Um, but the vitamins and minerals you get out of that completely outweigh the calories that you're getting from that source. All right, and so what's over here? This one, um, that one's a little bit spicier. Okay. This one I kind of changed up, also made it look more like a canned salsa that we're used to. Um, started with a can of tomatoes again. Mm -hmm. I then had a can of Rotel tomatoes and green chilies mixed together. Um, threw that in here, used okay. a little bit of dried cilantro, some garlic, some lime juice, some onion, basically all the things that you see in the ingredient label for a can right. of, uh, or a can of salsa, but it's made from, sort of from scratch and, at and home. And healthier and right. not as much sodium. And right. Also super easy. Um, if you're starting to run out of dips at home, mm -hmm. most of the time we have all the stuff for this in our cabinet. Right. We can throw it together. Um, also just brought along some other things to always make sure you have. You, know, you can have out pretzels, fresh veggies okay. um, for those people looking for those options so that they're always there. Basically, if you're hosting a party, you should just have all these healthy options because then that's basically what everyone has to eat, you know? Right, right. If they're there, you're more likely to choose those things um, and giving people the option of having those healthy healthy right. snacks. Still have fun and still enjoy the food and, and drinks and you know you said you were saying earlier to buy you know the light beer because you know a lot of people are gonna be drinking beer and that's a lot of calories as well. Right and that's part of the fun of the Super Bowl um, but making sure that you are choosing the light calorie beers, diet Perfect. sodas, that sort of thing. Alright well thank you so much and we will put these salsa recipes on heartlandconnection.com